I've just created a new course that will cover how to use QGIS and Inkscape to make professional maps such as this one. Uh, the course is on my on the Open Source Options Teachable website. Um, the, if you go to opensourceoptions.com or opensourceoptions.teachable.com, you can find the course. Um, let me just pull this up here. So I'm on opensourceoptions.com. You go to the home page. Uh, we can go to courses. And it's make professional maps with QGIS and Inkscape. And this will take you to the course page where you can enroll in this course. I'm going to start the price out at $10 and we'll go from there. But to give you an overview of what we'll do in this course, we're going to start out by making a very simple map of a watershed. But we're going to add in uh, a few components that are difficult to do in software like QGIS or ArcGIS. One of those is a drop shadow that looks nice on the map here. Um, another is this transparent imagery in the background and uh, putting some of these nice boxes to make the map look, look professional uh, with some transparent boxes over the top. We'll move on to some more advanced topics like uh, adding custom symbols for, for symbology in the legend with these wavy lines and creating a gradient for any color ramp you want. And then we'll use a free program similar to Excel. It's the Calc program from LibreOffice to make a chart that shows the length in kilometers of each stream order in this watershed and color code those to correspond to the map. Uh, these are principles you use very widely in cartography in general, and this course will give you an introduction to these so that you can apply it to any data you may have. All the data used for this course will be uh, supplied in the teachable course for those who are willing, who, who want to take that. Um, and then we'll move on to a final map, this world map of elevation, uh, and we'll go through how to create an ice depth map, how to make custom color ramps. I do have a video on that and a tutorial on that on the Open Source Options webpage. It's available for free. Uh, there's a YouTube video as well. And then we'll use program R to create a distribution of elevations from this data, from these data, and show you how to import that uh, into this map. And so this is all. This course is all to really get you started using QGIS um, and Inkscape to make some professional cartographic maps. Moving beyond just the the basic default uh, options that you have in QGIS, a lot of these principles can be applied to ArcGIS as well. For those of you who are interested. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy this course. I will post the first uh, few videos of this course to uh, YouTube for free so you can get a feel for the course and, and learn a few tips from those. Uh, thanks for watching and I, I hope you enjoy the content.